Welcome to the new vlog. I got a text from Steven from the Brick Show this morning, and he says at Costco, the Darth Vader dual sets that are normally 50 bucks are now $15. So we're gonna go check my Costco and see if they are there. I just finished packing up a bunch of MR shop orders and whatnot orders. So all those are going out in the mail today, and then uh, I'll be basically done till after Christmas, which will be nice. It's super busy, so I'm gonna guess someone else already bought them all, but we'll try. So when I got inside, I was greeted with an incredible sight. Hundreds of Lego sets at like 80% off. You can see there the Obi-Wan set for 15 bucks, normally 50. The Lego City Carrot Truck, I think is like a $45 set for $10. I mean, we are talking just silly, silly pricing and as we continue over here we'll see a ninjago set i believe this one normally goes for 80 dollars, and they were selling it for literally ten dollars that's 2007 battle pack pricing my friends when i called sans he said he wanted to army build them i'm not kidding. So I ended up buying a ton of what was available there, the Star Wars stuff for myself, uh, some miscellaneous sets for Sans and Claire, and then a ton of sets for Steven for his online shop because of these prices, you just have to. So after three separate trips into Costco, I had to go to the storage unit to be able to bring stuff up and in because my car is literally full. The trunk is full and this is currently what the inside looks like and it's starting to rain so we're gonna try to move fast i'll see you guys when i'm done basically three carts like this fit into here which should be doable it's just not preferable this has gotten a little out of hand in the recent months but you know we'll make it work I know a couple of these fell back here that's uh not ideal either there we go a little rain didn't hurt anyone Got everything out of my car on this one and Steven should be up in a couple days to pick up a lot of these Ninjago and City ones, the Star Wars ones I'll be keeping for myself as basically investments at $15 each. You're not gonna lose money. And then some of this is for like Sans and Claire, like they're getting that, Claire's getting both these creator ones. So I think they wanted the dinosaur too, but keep these off. Full, 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 full. Oh my goodness. So we're heading back to Costco now for another round of buying. Steven called my Costco and asked specifically if they had the Mandos N1 Starfighters, which are like uh, normally 60 bucks. But right now, apparently they're $10. But like mine, my store sold out a while back. Like I bought the last one like three weeks ago when it was like 30 bucks. Fourth time walking in today. We'll see if anything sold out because there were other people buying things when I was in here like 30 minutes ago. So there might be very little left now, but We'll take what we can. When I got back, there was another fellow there filling his cart. No surprise at these prices, you just have to. And I ended up getting more Kenobi dual sets for my whatnot, as well as miscellaneous sets for Steven. Unfortunately though, I could not find the fresh palette of Naboo and one Starfighters for $10 each. Boy, I wish I was able to. This is my fourth and potentially final cart. We'll see, I have a lot of stuff here. Mostly for Steven, the Star Wars ones are for me. Um, yeah, it's a lot. Uh, we made it up to the gym. Uh, oh, there he is. There's Muhammad. There's the man of the hour. Want to buy some Legos? How much you buy? I got, I got, I got, I got uh, Obi Wan's. I got Lego City. Uh, I got Holy some Marvel. Man, man. I also got some more in the trunk. That's the special stuff. You got to pay extra just How to see. How much did you buy this for? Uh, that was fifteen dollars. They're normally fifty. Oh my gosh! Dude, come in. Give me a kick. twenty bucks. I just bought it for ten. Come on. Hey, give me a give me a cut of your profit. <laughs> cut of your for what? <laughs> While we're here, do you want to tell the the story about how you know another Lego YouTuber? Yeah, my one of my med school classmates' younger brother is a Lego YouTuber. How would you find find that out? I told my friend. My friend was a Lego YouTuber. He's like, <laughs> He's oh, like no. He's like no. My my brother's also one. I'm like. Nitro small Bricks, world. shout out, Small World. Yes, whatever his name is. He makes like F FNAF Legos. Um, I don't know what that is. But yeah. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's. All right, yeah. All right, see you later. See ya. Yep. <laughs> oh, wait, we got some Ninjagos. You interested? Those are 10 bucks as well. They're normally like 70. Damn, maybe, <laughs> maybe I should get into You should get into like. <laughs> Hopefully someone can Photoshop on the weights. Yeah, I'm benching the 300 pounds right now. After the gym, I went to Walmart and my eyes lit up when I saw an ATT right above a clearance tag that said $70, which would be half price for an ATT. So I immediately grabbed it, put it in my hands and took a close look at the tag to make sure the tag was for the ATT. And it said Lego TC. So I figured maybe the Clone Wars, all terrain, ATT, all terrain tactical enforcer. And I was like, oh, it must be this set, even though it still felt weird to me. So I ended up scanning it and it scanned for a Technic set that is an all terrain 
vehicle for Technic. So that was a little bit disappointing. I, I was not happy about that one, but there were some other decent clearance deals going on at Walmart here. And interestingly, this all happening before Christmas, usually clearance deals happen after Christmas with Lego. But yeah, I ended up buying nothing here. I've cleared out my trunk of all the Ninjago and Noodle and City sets, except for one City set and then 10 Kenobi sets that I'm keeping for myself. The rest I've brought inside uh, for Steven to give to him whenever he gets here. And there goes the Kenobi set. That's not good. Uh, yeah, I guess we have more cities and things uh, for Steven. And then the Star Wars ones, like I said, are going to be mine. I'm at my other Walmart now, and they have pretty much the same clearance. Nothing that I'm going to really need to pick up, especially after today's Costco binge. Like, how much is this set? Is this any of these? No. But that's just that was 10 bucks at Costco. Maybe it's down here where the other Ninjago sets are. Yeah, how much does this cost? So that's a $70 set. It's on clearance here for 50, but 70 bucks normally for $10 a Costco. That was insane. 75 bucks, like, bro. oh, this one's, I'm gonna get it anyway, cause I'll just part it out. But that is a, that is a tough looking box there. Yeah, this store's clearance is way better. 25 bucks for the AAT, where is it? There are none, dang it. That would've been a good deal. 19 bucks, that's not the file first battle pack. Trouble on Tatooine for 17. Yeah, they got none though. All the good clearance deals are gone. I can't believe it. This almost makes me want to go try another Walmart up north. But I also know I should just go home because I'm already far enough. We got some real nice cold weather coming in for Christmas Eve and Christmas. It's the day before Christmas Eve right now. And so I'm out in the garage and I'm just kind of looking for more things to sell. So I found some minifigs. I found this owl set that i don't care about i'm like i'll sell that uh for my end of year whatnot stream coming up and i'm sure there's more i can find it's also kind of like a moving stream because i may as well i'll probably do another moving stream in a couple months like an actual moving stream but this that's an empty box but this right now is just my like end of year stream like what can i find that's kind of like random odds and ends found this box from like 2019 I'm gonna sell these. I just don't need Spider-Man Far From Home sets. I never even watched the movie. Ooh, there's minifigs in there. That's good. That means it'll sell for good value. I won't get screwed on it. That was from the top of that pile. So uh, you can imagine what else might be back there. I also think I'm gonna sell that. I think that was a bad purchase this year or last year. It was like 500 bucks. I never did anything with it. Gonna be honest, really don't think I need the Once Upon a Time Lego storybook from Lego Ideas anymore. Gonna get rid of this one for sure. So that's a little extra space over there freed up. Down in this box, I actually found a Darth Vader's transformation and I literally opened a brand new one this year that's like dust free. So we'll sell this thing for like, I don't know, probably go for like $10 on whatnot, I think. I think I'm happy with a little bit more than a box full of stuff here for now for like 20 minutes of cleaning some stuff out. So not bad. It still looks bad though. I was watching the Patriots get whooped, but I got a box in the mail for a live stream next month on whatnot but it's a big it's a big box with some big sets inside i got four sealed justifiers for a uh whatnot stream next month when i um am doing like bad batch there's gonna be a bad batch stream so i needed bad batch sets so these were uh one of the two bad batch sets to get got them all out of the box now i originally ordered five but the seller's like one of the boxes isn't very good so i'm only gonna send four and i'll refund you and i told him you know it would have been fine to do the five because i was gonna take them out of the box anyway but we have four instead of five trying to find more things for my whatnot sale on tuesday i found this set is in here that i definitely i uh, don't need just picked up Corey. he's gonna help me out a lot with today's uh whatnot stream yeah yeah <laughs> a lot of work to do today and i also have to go to the bank to send a wire for my house and uh we're gonna go to target too we gotta get bags for shipments like to number you have yeah. to number them and then uh food 320 bags for 300 whatnot listings potentially check for six dollars a box that's not bad so far at this target, there's no Christmas clearance aisle. Yeah, I don't, I don't need a riding train. I bet that would be pretty cool if I was like four. Ooh, for 12 bucks? I might have to. I think I passed on him before, but for 12, I might have to. I don't see one clearance tag for a Lego set on this aisle. Not one. Does not bode well for any Lego clearance. Ooh, there is literally two Star Wars sets. The two most hated sets, Luke's Landspeeder and the Four Flows ATST. Oh no, no, no. There's also the overpriced Boba Fett's Palace. Don't forget, of course. 
That's wild. You don't see it this empty very often. Yeah, yeah this is post-Christmas. No, no clearance either. It's so sad. Not even a sticker. I think everyone and their mother got PlayStation games for Christmas. Except GTA 5 four times. There's four GTA 5s. Lego Star Wars didn't sell out. Unbelievable. The whatnot stream is long over and Corey and I are grinding away shipments. It takes forever to ship 300 different whatnot items like we sold. But he's in here putting boxes together. Got all the figures set up over here. Shipments are going out. Shipments are coming in. I actually got a lot more mail in the mail today. Uh, so yeah, all this stuff's going out with that. Um, I got to find a box for all this stuff to put it out easily. But boy, oh boy, has it been a long day, huh? Oh, look, he's getting better at boxes. Look at that, beautiful. Today nearly started out very poorly as Steven from The Brick Show was like, yeah, I'll be there around 12.30 to pick up the Lego sets that uh, you got for me. I was like, oh yeah, I agreed to do that today. And I also set up a lunch with my some of my high school buddies uh, for noon. And so I was like, this is bad. Hey guys, can we move it to 11? And everyone's like, yeah, sure. And I'm like, problem solved. Muhammad, are you aware that you need to be on a leash? What, for what reason? <laughs> Because you're a service animal. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Steven has arrived to take the city sets off my hands. A lot of uh, well, Legos. Any any first thoughts, reaction? It looks nice. This is this is a good look. Yeah. A lot of Star Wars. And a oh lot yeah. Of Lego. These ones are coming with you. So, got plenty of Ninjago's. Got some. Uh, oh man, Jurassic. Jurassic Parks. All right. So we got all these out of the unit. It's gone. So I'm thinking double what I paid at least, right? At least. <laughs> yeah, at least. All right, so this is $800 of uh, Lego sets after tax. So what, what would we guess our retail price on this was? Because obviously 800 is what I, I mean, paid at got, Costco. What? You oh, got 10 of those 30, sets. 30 times 8 is 2400 Oh, man. Just in that, and then let's say, what, 50 Oh, that's disgustingly it was cheap. Like 42 let's say 40 if you go right. by an Amazon price, roughly. Wow. You're at like, you know... 16 to 1800 easy Sheesh. including the jurassic so i mean you're at like 4k just in retail value we decided to hit up kohl's and see if we could find any lego sets early it's december 29th though so if there's gonna be a day they have stuff early it's it's about that time of year yeah. i don't think that one's yeah, new yeah, they still too. yeah they have not gotten any my target's pretty wiped too i wonder if the price tag has set numbers that are new no so it's still all old stuff i want to scan these though these were the black friday clearance ones so these might still be cheaper tried to scan this on the app and it said app or item not found i assume it'll be the same for that yeah these are full price so that is not gonna interest me we're gonna we're gonna need that in the other room i forgot to clean my room i woke up late and then i had to go to lunch and meet up with steven and didn't have time to get anything done so you good yeah Anyway, yeah, we'll be shipping. So leave those off to the side here, so then put them out of our way. Yeah, let's ship all that stuff and be done. But everything else is out of here, isn't it nice? Yeah, nice empty space now. Got a nice box of early Bible First battle packs. Eight of them. Nice, dude. Nice. Hey. Nope. Not for sale. You can get them in two days at the Lego store. What? Yep. Just got back from Cumberland and Corey just finished the very last Bible First battle pack. So that's all eight ready for tonight's whatnot sale. Looking good, eh? Mm -hmm. all our extra where do all the other extras go what do you mean? we should have eight extras they're in the, these bags you gotta fish them out yeah here yeah take that extra one out so we just sold a hundred minifigs on whatnot it was all clone troopers except for the stormtrooper and bo-katan pretty much uh, a couple of battle droids mixed in there darth maul at the end i guess but yeah we gave away this white bobo we gave away agree those things what else did we give away free oh that one so we gave away those four things. So yeah, pretty nice night. Um, and yeah, Corey's over here building Bad Batch figures for my Bad Batch whatnot stream. That is a lot of minifigs, eh? I agree. That is a lot. Now he's working on some some Gree figs that'll also go on the Bad Batch stream, but also just for other things. So yeah, that's a lot of figs there. Anyway, uh, we need to ship all this stuff now. Yippee. Got orders on the computer. I'm signing foil packs that sell. So these will go together. I send him one of these. And then I grab the label from the label maker, throw it on top for him. That's a completed order. So we're pretty efficient here, right? This is about as efficient as we've gotten. There's probably a better way to do it. We'll figure it out. Everything's packed, ready to go. 
That was not, that was probably one of the better packing sessions I've ever had. That was so fast. And we just completed a ring. Let's go, goal achieved. I stood up today. So I got this big box in the mail today and no, it is not a stroller. It is Legos. This is about, I spent 2,200 on all of this. And so I'm actually gonna drag it into my bedroom and unbox it live on twitch.tv forward slash MNR games. So if you were there, you were there. It's a heavy box. Um, it is over 70 pounds. Actually the first time I think I've ever had a box come with the caution thing on it. It says caution, heavy package over 70 pounds. So yeah, that was pretty crazy. But uh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta get this down the hall now. Putting my clothes away earlier would have been rather beneficial when it comes to uh, when it comes to getting this in here, no, nah, it's it slips in just fine actually. Would you look at that? All right, perfect, perfect. Oh shoot, my phone. That's right, it's there. Two more. It's another 60, 120. I wouldn't say this set is worth its full retail price, but we do have this. We'll call it a hundred. An AAT will bring us up to 260. So I'm looking like 300 and 340. That's gonna be 380,000 now. 380,000, $380. I wish it was 380,000 dollars. That would be a nice amount of money. 420, 450, another 50 bucks here. So that's 450 plus 50, it's gonna be 500. 560, call 50 for now at least, is uh, 610. 640, 680 dollars, 720 with another AAT. Three built complete AATs, call these 10 dollars each. That would be 750. With three more built AATs. I, I honestly don't think I even knew I was getting this, but 750. We have this cup of mini figs. I didn't even know I was getting either. 20th anniversary Lando. I don't know, call it $100 of figures. What were we at? 750, so 850 maybe? Call it 1,000, even 1,000. We have this random cup of parts, which on one night I could honestly maybe sell for like 10 bucks, so uh, 1,010. Oh, we did get base plates. I didn't even think about this. So 10, call them $10 a piece. Oh, there's two things left in the box. So we're at 1,110, I paid 22. Ugh. Ah, casual Star Destroyer in here. Another thousand bucks, so that'll be two thousand one hundred and ten dollars of value. That's why I break even on my investment. I've been doing a lot of buying and reselling Lego in the last year or so because of what not sponsorship of me. It's kind of got me on a binge on it. Honestly, it's very fun to do. It's different than what I've been doing with like making videos for the last ten years. So uh, I've like really kind of fallen in love with it. This is a bag of ninety six Final First Clone Troopers, thirty two Jet Troopers, uh, like forty Battle Droids. There's three. 332nd troopers, there's a Kashyyyk trooper. Yeah, this is like another thousand dollars of minifigs here and I'll show this to you guys. So the last hour or so, I've been working on this for some upcoming whatnot shows with the 501st retirement party. I don't know if I'm actually gonna do that as a stream, but I thought it would be kind of a cool stream, but either way, I need to set them up to figure out what I had. And then these are from another package that we actually got in the other day, but there's some pretty cool figures in here like uh, Django Fett, I'd love to see one of those. Um, but yeah, a lot of figures that came out of there. All these still need to be set up on that plate. And uh, I'm also like setting figures aside. So since Mando comes out in March, I have a bunch of Mandalorian figures that'll be good for a March Mandalorian stream. I'm kind of starting to prepare for Ahsoka. I need to look at the rumors more. I swear I found, um... oh no, she, oh, where did she go? She does not go in the Mando bag. She goes in the Ahsoka bag. It's New Year's Eve. And today we are gonna recreate a classic MNR picture. If you've ever been on my Twitter, you would see that the pinned tweet for a long time has been, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. And the picture is me with a bunch of file first battle packs. I look pretty cool in the picture if I say so myself. I look like a golfer, I'm not gonna lie. But I just thought it was cool to like when the battle packs were first coming out, take a picture in the greenery with the battle packs there. And so today when it gets a bit sunnier, I guess it's not as green behind there anymore. It's not the summer. But uh, when it gets a bit sunnier out, it's a bit overcast right now, but it should be clear clearing up here soon. I think there's some blue sky out yonder. Uh, we'll go out and take a nice picture. Pretty nasty out here actually, like leaves and stuff all over the, the chairs. So I had to clean them off. That's not even very clean, honestly. The floor doesn't matter, but they're gonna fit up there nicely. It's it's gonna fit there. You can only harvest at night. Trees. You have to harvest at night. We're harvesting the battle packs. Yes, a bountiful harvest. Also that chair was dirty and smelled really bad. Really? Yeah, it did. This is how Corey and I are spending New Year's three, you said three minutes? Is that right? What's that show? 
Wow, three minutes. I, don't know I wanted to be asleep. I'm not going to be asleep, unfortunately. Yeah.